Let me tell you a little something about my relationship with the P90 program of Tony Horton. There was one year that I did the P90 regular series, the P90 Masters, and the P90X in the same year, and I did it consecutively. Before that, I had a knee injury on my, well, a left, my left knee was banged up because I fell on it a couple of times and my weight was not helping. So I was more, I still am more accident prone, but after I was, did my, those P90X ex exercises for nearly nine months, actually more than that, I felt that my muscles were so strong that once I did fall, as I usually do, and I landed smack on my right knee, and I was still wearing heels the same evening. My muscles above and below that kneecap were that strong. So that's how good I feel with P90 and that program and what it has what it has done for me is still quite fresh in my mind. So I was really excited to do the hybrid program of P90X and doing the yoga today. And yet I couldn't because I woke up with a really stiff back. I probably caught cold yesterday when I was going for a run. So I think tomorrow when I go for my run, I should bundle up a bit more. I still have to buy a windbreaker jacket. I don't have that. So I need something which is water resistant and is good for the wind. That should help me because I'm still getting accustomed to the Canadian climate. I arrived here just last summer. So this is a bit new for me. Needless to say, I'm going to be back on track tomorrow morning. I'm going to apply warm presses that I had been applying all day anyway. And I'll be applying that at night as well. And so hot warm presses towards my, on my back should help. And I'll be good to go tomorrow morning. And I'm really looking forward to doing the P90 program again because the things I did, push-ups with one hand and the side planks, I felt superhuman and I felt real. I mean, there's this beefcake inside of me which is just dying to get out. And that was really exciting. That was a really exciting time of my life. And that was about a year and a half ago. So it's not that far away. I'm just rearing to do it again. So yeah, today I didn't do it. I have this one week of a cushion as well because the Couch to 5K program is an eight-week program and I do have nine weeks left. So it's good I'm getting the creases sorted. I'm smoothing out the creases between now and next Sunday. So it's good to find out my pace and adjust my body according to it. This was the learning curve and tomorrow is going to get even better. Today I learned my optimist takeaway, sorry, today would be this Latin phrase called amor fati. I'm not sure if I'm saying this right, but fati in Latin means fate. And amor, as you would know in French or in Spanish, or the root word is love. So amor fati would be to be in love with one's fate. Or to just be, and how it would translate into modern everyday living would be to be accepting of whatever ha is happening. So amor fati. It just sounds really pretty as it rolls off your tongue, right? So I'm going to hang on to that for today. And I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.